Before we get into tonight's highlights, let's take a look at some of the Joe Maurer celebration. It's hard to truly understand the pressure of not only playing for your hometown team, but also being the face, or in your case, the sideburns of the franchise. Every time I walk into this beautiful ballpark, and I'm reminded of how lucky I am to be a part of this organization and how lucky I was to play my entire career with this team. I told Marin and Emily that it takes more than just being good at a sport to make it into Hall of Fame. Being here tonight and seeing so many of you in person only furthers that feeling. From the former face of the franchise to the current face of the franchise, Willie Castro hitting a triple here to tie the game up. Uh, but seriously, though, how fun has Willie Castro been? Uh, what a great addition he's been. But Ryan Jeffers was really the story of this game. Two home runs in this one for Ryan Jeffers. He now has an 895 OPS on the season. Obviously, the Twins just desperate for offense this year. And look at this little sassy little bat flip. Loving it. Absolute bullet on the second one here. 115.8 mile per hour exit velocity on that one. He actually holds the uh, high for the Twins in the season. It's at 117.4. He had a home run earlier this year. Uh, so Jeffers, man, wow. And it's Michael A. Taylor, wow. He homers in his third straight game. Stuff like this just happens when you're hot off the foul pole. Uh, he has 15 home runs on the season now, does Michael A. Taylor. That's his second highest in his 10-year career. Uh, his career high is 19, so on pace to get there. Max Kepler made a great diving catch. Max has been really turning it up uh, of late, really, since the start of July. He also homered. It was so, you know, this team has been really frustrating. It was so wonderful that on this evening uh, where Joe Maurer was celebrating, a big crowd at Target Field, Joe Maurer celebrated pregame that they come out and just smoke a good Diamondbacks team, by the way. Uh, here is what the lineup produced. Three hits from Edward Julian, three hits from Max Kepler, three hits from Matt Walner, which it had to have been cool for him to be in attendance on the field in the dugout watching Joe Maurer's ceremony as a Minnesota guy himself. Kenta Maeda. There was so much offense, and we've been so starved for that. I didn't even get to Kenta Maeda highlights, but wow. Maeda, six innings, one run, no walk, seven strikeouts. This was his fourth quality start in his last six. Very impressive. Twins are now four and one in August. Moving on over to the St. Saint Paul Saints. Louis Varland was pitching for them today. Um, he had uh, kind of a little bit of an up and down outing, but looked good stuff wise here. You see him hitting 97 miles per hour on this one. Uh, in the field, Brooks Lee committed his first AAA error here. Um, I think he was maybe thinking, maybe I shouldn't go to two, I should go to one, and I kind of got in the way of this transfer. Maybe I'm just making excuses for him, I don't know. But uh, Junior Severino made another nice little pick. I don't know if this is exactly fundamentally sound, but sometimes you just got to be an athlete out there and make a quick little pick there. That was nice, getting it over there for Severino. Moving on over to the AA highlights for Wichita, the wind surge, uh, wearing another uniform. <laughs> I, don't, I swear, they might have 10. Uh, but that's Dalton Shuffield with the stash. A 2022 10th round pick. How many 2022 draftees are just going off right now? You can add this guy to the list. 10th round rounder, Texas State. Uh, here's Willie Joe Gary Jr. hitting a grand slam. This guy not known for his bat, Willie Go Joe Gary Jr. Hits it off the top of the wall. He actually missed first base on the first go around. But hey, you hit it out, you take as much time as you need to touch all them bases, Willie Joe Gary Jr. So that was cool to see. He just got called up. Dalton Sheffield just got called up. So these are a couple of the guys that took the places of the guys who were promoted up to St. Paul. So loving this for Willie Joe Gary Jr. He's been in the system for ages. He was drafted out of high school in the ninth round in 2018. And Sheffield went back-to-back -back with him. He said, that looked fine. I'm going to do it again. Back-to-back -back after that grand slam. So Dalton Sheffield, two-homer game. He was with Fort Myers for 34 games and then spent just three games at Cedar Rapids before being called up to double A. Uh, and there you see both Sheffield and Willie Joe Gary Jr. feeling it in the dugout. Uh, on to Cedar Rapids. And I, this is the most overlooked and underrated pitching prospect in the system, in my opinion, Andrew Morris. Uh, another 2022 draftee in the fourth round out of Texas Tech. Um, but this guy was sitting 95 in this outing and touching 96. This was his second start for Cedar Rapids. 
I imagine he's going to be shooting up rankings. Um, I have him 23rd, and I think that's too low, but most of the top 30s I look at don't have him on it. Um, and again, a fourth-round pick from last year. After this outing where he strikes out nine batters, he's got a 2.87 ERA in the year with a 1.11 whip, 62 strikeouts and 11 walks and 59 and two-thirds innings. That is a very solid 5.64 strikeout-to-walk ratio. Weird moment in this one. Uh, actually, on the first pitch of an at-bat, the guy he just struck out was complaining so much that the umpire abandons the pitch as it's being delivered to throw a guy out. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Uh, but didn't seem to affect Morris too much. He kept cruising. Again, that's Andrew Morris. He struck out nine guys for Cedar Rapids tonight in his second start for them. Uh, but, yeah, you know, the guy kind of lives off that 95, 96-mile-per-hour fastball. Uh, but, again, I think he's really overlooked and somebody to be uh, keeping an eye on. Here you see his line, as well as all the other minor league starting pitching performances. I see Varland and, actually, Jalen Allen. All of their runs that they gave up tonight were unearned. Uh, each of those guys struck out five. Uh, moving over to the hitting performances, Trevor Larnick was four for five with a double and a triple for the Saints uh, today. You see that massive game from Dalton Sheffield. Carson McCusker had his first home run for Cedar Rapids after getting called up from the Mighty Muscles, uh, his eighth overall in the year. Really good night across the system. Very impressive. Great, great to see on Joe Maurer night. Thanks so much for checking this out. I really appreciate it. These are sponsored by the channel members. Here are the premium members. We'll talk again soon.